you know, what's a little bit interesting about our company, and you'll see this with most of the startups, is that we have that Silicon Valley product and tech DNA. So we have like a high performing, you know, engineering and product team that we've built out pretty methodically in Bangalore to be able to genuinely build like real systems that can add value on data science and artificial intelligence. So for example, you know, we have a, an advertising business for let's say the Unilevers and Procter and Gambles of the world to bid on search keywords at Zepto uh, and to get like ad placements live on the platform. And we're making hundreds of crores of revenue of that. That's pure bottom line because it's just advertising. And that engine that we built in house that we call Jarvis internally, mm -hmm. um, you know, all the, you know, the ranking engine, the bidding and attribution on that ad stack, uh, you know, all of it is powered by data science and machine learning models. And we built all of that in house and it's taken us some time to do it, but we built it relatively quickly. Or for example, to your question as a user, mm -hmm. what's different for the user today that we can actually do with, you know, data science and machine learning systems. So search is one of the biggest things that we focus on. So how can I just, you know, look at your search history and personalize results for you so that you are getting relevant products, right? If you sit in defense colony versus if you sit in West Delhi, there's a difference in what you want to see, mm -hmm. right? If you've got an iPhone versus you have an Oppo phone, there's a difference in what you want to see. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? If you've, if you've looked at, you know, feminine hygiene products, and that means you're probably a female customer, can we push more products that are more relevant to you? So constantly building that relevance to make the user's buying experience better. And then the last thing that I'll mention is, you know, there are you know, interesting things that we're even doing on our selection. So how can we predict store by store, micro market by micro market, um, what a customer would want, looking at, you know, the tens of millions of data points that we have historically. And that's actually helping us improve our selection. That's helping us get sourcing leverage to improve our prices. So, you know, everything from the search and recommendations to the advertising business do we have to the supply chain. There's a lot of machine learning that we already use today. And then down the road, you know, as we speak, for example, we're working on a generative AI solution on customer support, hmm. right? So instead of waiting for 30 to 45 seconds for a human being to respond to you, why don't you wait like, you know, two seconds and then uh, a generative AI chatbot will respond to you and do a better job candidly than even a human could do in that, that format. So we're working on it and we think it'll add real value to customers.